Hi, brothers and sisters. Today is April the 23rd, 2021. So, brothers and sisters, I know I told y'all that last video was my last video. Okay, well, you know, I just believe I'm on call. Okay. All right, but yes, y'all, let me tell you, Jesus told me I was finished. Uh, my mission was complete, and um, I've been purified, tried and tested, and I know he told me earlier on in my wilderness that he was going to use me to bring his people out of bondage. So, um, first, I'm going to tell y'all, because Jesus just opened my eyes to something again, y'all. I don't know why I keep missing stuff. Either that, or it just wasn't my time to see it. I believe it just wasn't my time to see it. So, um, but first, I'm going to take you to Genesis Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. It says, God, so God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. So y'all, even if y'all have to meditate on that and read it over and over, read it until it gets in your heart, read it until God gives you that revelation. But I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to take you to, um, Deuteronomy. All right, so Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 16 it says Let me let me bring it over here so you can see it here. So I can see it too. <laughs> All right. It says, honor your father and mother as the Lord your God commanded you. Then you will live a long, full life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Wow, why would he say that, y'all? Think about, think about some of the words he'd be saying. So now I'm going to take y'all back to the Genesis because I want y'all to get this. Let me go back to Genesis. Go back to Genesis chapter 1. Sorry, y'all. I think I just... Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. All right. So again... Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 says, So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. Honor your father and mother. Who do Jesus... <laughs> Who do Jesus say to let lead and guide you? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. So honor your father in heaven, your spiritual father, and your spiritual mother, Holy Spirit. Be led by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit alone. The Holy Spirit is going to bear witness to the truth. So now I'm going to show y'all and I'm going to tell y'all 
once again hold on here let me go to first john really quick here y'all let me go there god is so amazing oh my goodness i don't know why i gotta be the one to catch stuff late but it's okay <laughs> all right so first john chapter five says everyone who believes that jesus is the christ has become a child of god and everyone who loves the father loves his children too we know no it says yeah we know we love god's children if we love god and obey his commandments <laughs> Loving God means keeping his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For every child of God defeats this evil world, and we achieve this victory through our faith. And who can, it says, who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And Jesus Christ was revealed as God's Son by his baptism in water and by shedding his blood on the cross, not by water only, but by water and blood. And the Spirit, who is truth, confirms confirms it with his testimony. Oh, my goodness. So we have these three witnesses, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and all three agree. Since we believe human testimony, surely we can believe the greater testimony that comes from God. Let me... Hold on. All right. And um, it says, And God has testified about his Son. All who believe in the Son of God know in their hearts that this testimony is true. Those who don't believe, those who don't believe this are actually calling God a liar because they don't believe what God has testified about his son. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the son does not have life. Plain and simple. All right, so now let me go to the dream, brothers and sisters. I'm going to tell y'all something. God gave me this dream, y'all, and I got to bring this dream back because some people might not have heard the dream before, just in case somebody new come across this video. All right, so I'm going to tell y'all, December, I mean, um, October 31st, God gave me this dream where I had an appointment and in that dream I knew I had a choice if I wanted to go to that appointment like I was not being I was not being made to go to that appointment I had a choice and I chose to go to that appointment and when I went to that appointment I checked in, and when I checked in, they called me back there to the room, and y'all, while I was in there, they had this open picture window, and I was pretty high up a little bit, so I could see straight outside, and I could see down below. So um, I got a good picture of the sky I could see the skyline real good so anyway I 
I had um I had spotted I had spotted this big massive um like it was this big massive sun. Now I know it's a sun. It's, and the sun I'm assuming is a planet or is a, I don't know, but um so anyway, it was it was the sun brothers and sisters and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can show that to y'all a little bit later in the video so um, so what I did was I tried to take a picture I tried to take a picture of this sun and I, I bent down leaned to the side to get my phone off the bed and when I got my phone off of the bed I got back up that, that thing was gone it wasn't there no more but what was there I saw was this blue, it was some blue, uh, blue planet. And it was like a, um, like a sky blue type color. It was like a sky blue color. And it had like a white streak in it. And the streak, I remember looking at that because it got my attention and I don't know what it meant, but that that planet had seven other planets around it that looked exactly like it. So anyway, brothers and sisters, what I understood in that dream was that everybody knew a planet was coming to the earth. Everybody knew it but me. I didn't know about this planet. And um, that planet was so massive. There was no hiding that thing. And it looked like an orange. Um, hold on. Let me see. If, I'm going to see if I can show y'all this really quick. Okay. So you see this thing right here? That's what it, that's what it was. All right, and y'all, I did not know anything about this at all. God brought this to me in my dream. And look at that word down there, y'all. Because I want y'all to write that down. Write that down. So, um, so anyway, brothers and sisters, in that dream, that was the planet I seen. Which I believe that that's the sun. And I'm telling y'all out like from the east, west, no, from the west. No, east, it was from the east. All right. Um, so from the east, this lion that was blazing up with fire. He was on fire. He was set ablaze. And um, he came, sh he shot across the sky real fast. And I do mean fast. He shot across there. And when he got to the other side, which was the west, he came straight. Like he made like a, I'm not even a U-turn. It was a sharp turn, like down to the earth. And I, and I was standing in the window at the hospital, and he came straight down, y'all. And as he was coming down real fast, like he was galloping or something, the fire was coming off of his face. I could see the fire coming off of his face. And by that time, y'all, he had his eyes pierced on me. And I was looking at him, and I couldn't take my eyes off him. As much as I wanted to, I couldn't. Like, I just kept looking for some reason. And he came all the way down, y'all. He came into the room, in the hospital room, my appointment. And um, he put his forehead next to mine. And he started talking. And what he told me was, he said, you are a part of the Godhead. I'm about to change your vision. 
I'm about to change how you see things. He said, there's others down here like you. He said, I'm going to expose y'all to the world. And when I expose you to the world, the world is going to know who you are. Zach words. And y'all, I was so, oh my goodness. When I felt that hair of that lion touch my forehead. Oh my goodness. So, so anyways, um, the next thing I know, I was switched over into some other room. And it was a lady there. And this lady, she, I don't know if she was a dentist or a doctor. But she was facing the window way because I was facing her way. Like, she was looking, like, out, facing toward the window. Now that I think about it, she was facing toward the window way. And when she turned, like, when she turned to look at me, the first thing she told me, she said, she said, I am one of them. And, y'all, she had this thing thing in her eyes she had like it was a maze and y'all y'all seen that picture I just showed y'all all All right so I'm gonna go to the scripture because I asked Jesus I said Jesus you got to show me if this dream is from you because I know how Satan is and brothers and sisters, I did a rhema. I closed my Bible all the way up and I prayed. And then I just randomly opened up the Bible. And when I did that, my eyes landed on Zechariah chapter 12. And my eyes went straight on... Um, Starting at verse 6. And this is what it said. On that day, I will make the clans of Judah like a flame that sets a whip pal ablaze. Or like a burning torch among shafts of grain. They will burn up all the neighboring nations right and left. So, y'all, he came from the right when I seen him. That's where he came. He shot out the sky from the right and went to the left. And um, so let me read that part over. It says, they will burn up all the neighboring nations right and left while the people living in Jerusalem remain secure. The Lord will give victory to the rest of Judah first before Jerusalem so that the people of Jerusalem and the royal line of David will not have greater honor than the rest of Judah. On that day, the Lord will defend the people of Jerusalem The weakest among them will be mighty as King David. And the royal, listen to this, y'all, and the royal descendants will be like God, like the angel of the Lord who goes before them. For on that day I will be I will begin to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And y'all can go on and and read on down. But look at this, because I want y'all to tie this together here. All right, so you see that word right there. Um, So the number 222, that number is linked to that name right there, which went with that picture I showed y'all, the sun, that looked like the sun. 
and um and it said like god so let me go back over here so y'all can see this all right look at Look at verse 8, okay? So right here it says, verse 8 here, On that day the Lord will defend the people, the people of Jerusalem. The weakest among them will be mighty as King David. And the royal descendants, y'all, the royal descendants will be like God like the angel of the Lord that goes before them. And look at this. 222. Two, two. And that what was in that lady's eyes, that maze, and that said, like God. And that is the eternal God symbol. And look, here is the name where you can find you can find that symbol there in that that sun planet whatever that is is what i seen and then 555 stands for alpha and that says image like god i just got through reading it over there in um Zechariah 8, y'all. 8 and 9. Like God. Like Jesus. And then the number 1144. Son of the right hand. Slash place of honor. So now. Oops, sorry, y'all. So now, y'all, we're going to jump all the way over here to, because um, I told y'all about the right and left hand. I, I, I taught y'all about that one because God taught me about that one. All right, so I'm going to take y'all where, um, like if you go to Daniel, if you go to Daniel 12 and Daniel 12. Uh, 10 and 9, Daniel chapter 7, y'all will find all this, all this stuff that equals out to be Jesus, all right, now I'm going to go to Hebrews really quick here, chapter 12, starting at verse 22 and that says no you have come to Mount Zion to the city of the living God the heavenly Jerusalem and to countless thousands of angels in a joyful gathering you have come to the the assembly of God's firstborn mm. Firstborn, y'all know number 222 is the firstborn blessing. All right. Um, the assembly of God's firstborn children, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God himself. Y'all hear that? You have come to God himself. Oh, oh my goodness, Jesus. <sighs> who is the judge over all things, the righteous judge. Y'all look, and that son right there could be, could stand for the son of righteousness, which is Jesus. Son of righteousness. Um, and then it says, you have come, it says, you have come to the spirits of the righteous ones in heaven who have been made perfect. Oh, my goodness. 
y'all oh my goodness oh i gotta show y'all something all right um all right you have come to jesus wait y'all let me read that over hold on it says you have come to the spirits of the righteous ones in heaven who have been made perfect you have come to jesus the one who mediates the new covenant between God and people and to the sprinkled blood, which speaks of forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance, like the blood of Abel. Be careful that you do not refuse to listen to the one who is speaking. For if the people of Israel did not escape when they refused to listen to Moses, the earthly messenger, we will certainly not escape if we reject the one who speaks to us from heaven. Oh my goodness. When God spoke from Mount Sinai, his voice shook the earth. But now... He makes another promise. Once again, I will shake not only the earth, but the heavens also. Watch out, y'all. This means that all of creation will be shaken and removed so that only unshakable things remain. Since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable, let us be thankful and please God by worshiping him with holy fear and awe. For our God is a devouring fire. Yes, he is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so y'all, hold on. Now, I am going to show y'all everywhere Jesus is. Because y'all know Jesus is the lion, the tribe of Judah. And Jesus said, well, it was prophesied in Zechariah that a tenth of Judah will be saved first. That's the royal line. That's the royal line of David. Hold on. Um, hold on here. And then I want to read something else to y'all over here in Genesis. So Genesis chapter 49, verse 10, it says, The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff, from his descendants until the coming of the one to whom it belongs, the one whom all nations will honor, Jesus. Jesus will be honored. Yes, he will be. Every knee is going to bow to him. That name is the name above all names. Yes, it is. And I know his name is Yeshua. I know his name is, you know, all those other names. He has many names. Many. And I'm going to tell y'all, y'all need to be, um, let me go. Let me go, y'all, to Revelation. Let me go to Revelation before I get to talking too much because I know I just read Hebrews. All right, about to go to Revelation. I'm about to show y'all where you see, where you find Jesus. Because y'all know I, the, the left and right hand, the right hand, that's the army. The left hand are the gods. Those are the little Gs. The, you got um the right side, which is the side of Archangel Michael place of honor over there y'all that's where jesus is and then 
You got the left hand, which is the side of the Holy Spirit. Gabriel is on that side, and he is a messenger. And who was God? God said he's the great I am. He is the all in all. Y'all remember what he told Moses? Yep, when Moses was Moses was a leader. So if y'all if y'all see numbers, let me tell you, if y'all see numbers, more than likely by your own choice, your own free choice and free will, God gives you. He said, many are called, but yet few are chosen. You have a choice. If you see in these numbers, God is calling you. It's your choice to answer. Yep. It's your choice. And he's guiding you along the way with these numbers. All right. Um, all right. So, Jesus. All right. So, we know Jesus is the title. Is His name is a title. But Jesus is... All right, it says, um, Son of Man. All right, Son of Man is a title used for Jesus himself. And then the messengers, also Jesus. So Jesus is the one over the churches. Yes, he is. At Revelation chapter 1, verse 20. Jesus is the messengers. Jesus, messenger. So also, Revelation chapter 2. Jesus, messenger. Chapter 8, chapter 12, chapter 18, Jesus. Now let me go over. All right, so um, Revelation chapter 3, verse 1. The seven spirits, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Messenger again. And that, that's all that's also messenger. Alright, so um now so I'm gonna tell you if you see these numbers, the number thirty-two, which is a messenger, number nine three three, which is also um it has something to do with Jesus. Y'all look this stuff up in um, Strong's Concordance, and you will see what I'm talking about. And also look up. Oops. Sorry, y'all. Also look. Now this is wrote, this is wrote in Jewish. I think this is Jewish because it's spelled different than the Kabbalah. Like the other one, the other one is spelled like K A B B A L A H. But this is spelled C hyphen A B L A. Same word, just spelled different. All right, so, um, so the number uh, 757, 758, 753, I said 32, the number 30, I mean, uh, 933, 932, also um, that 
there's some more. But I don't have that in front of me. But y'all, look, the firstborn, the firstborn is Jesus. Jesus was the firstborn. He is the firstborn. So look, um, you got Revelation chapter 7 and also chapter 14 and also Revelation chapter 11. Jesus is, y'all, he cut, he got his own stuff covered. That is so amazing. Oh my goodness. So amazing. So amazing. And I'm going to tell y'all, in the beginning, when Jesus, when I did that first video, when I was talking about the two witnesses, how Jesus showed me and led me by the numbers to the two witnesses. And if you see the number 1111, those have something to do with the two witnesses and the number 11. And the two witnesses are, when I read it, it led me back to, um, um, well, one of them I know is, um, Jesus. I do know that. Well, well, put it like this, y'all. In the end, Jesus showed me of my time in the wilderness. I've been done with my wilderness. But Jesus showed me in my time in the wilderness toward the end that he was both of the witnesses. And he had gave me a parallel in my spirit. Like he quickened it into my spirit. He said, what was done before is going to happen again. Jesus was uh the first like he was the first um like y'all he was raised up first and then the two witnesses is going to be two that are going to be raised up and they're both Jesus is just repeating now I'm not quite fully sure how that all goes I only know what he shows me on my end but y'all can probably link it together with what with whatever he showed you and I know that um, John the Baptist prepares the way for the Lord and um, is, is John the Baptist and the power of Elijah. So, Elijah was in John the Baptist. So, therefore, Elijah did come already. And right now, in the 144,000, they were born with the spirit of God already in them. So y'all can link that together. I know what Jesus showed me. I know what he showed me and I know what he was telling me. So, and y'all, I had a dream where Jesus, I seen him because he was teaching me in that dream. And in that dream, brothers and sisters, I seen where God was trying to get, get people's attention on the earth. He was trying to get their attention. And nobody was paying attention. Like it was just so, y'all, it was so rowdy down here. Just rowdy is what I'm going to call it. And nobody was listening to him or heeding his warnings. So what he did was, because in that dream of mine, he was Morgan Freeman. And um, and I remember Jesus had 
now that I I, I didn't know Jupiter existed, y'all. I never seen Jupiter. But I knew what that was in Jesus' hand that I seen. And I, I just happened to run across the planets and I seen Jupiter. I said, wait a minute, Jesus had that planet in his hand. So, y'all, he threw Jupiter to the earth. And it went through the earth like a pinball. It knocked over everybody that I'm assuming was not was not acting right. Knocked them right out. And I remember one day he told me to look up what Jupiter mean and Jupiter meant justice so he threw down his justice and when he did that I seen a whole bunch of people because y'all in that dream I thought Jesus was following me and like I said in that dream Jesus was Morgan Freeman and I, and I knew that in the dream. And I thought he was following me. And y'all, he wasn't following me. It was just that people had turned into little Jesuses. It was a whole bunch of little Jesuses around. But the thing was, according to everybody's faith, because everybody, everybody's faith level is different. Okay, so if their faith was high, if they had high faith, you know, unshakable faith, they had a lot of faith in Jesus, then you can see Jesus. That's it. Nothing else. You couldn't see them. Like Jesus had to actually move his face so I can see who the person was. Like some were women, some were men. And then some people, I can see them. It was like looking at, it was like looking at Jesus and that person walking together inside of, like inside of uh, the person. Like a ghostly light. Like a ghostly like look. But y'all, that was so amazing. But I I honestly thought he was following me and he wasn't following me. But I caught myself trying to hide from him and I bent down. And next thing you know, it was somebody tapping me on my right shoulder. And I turned around and it was Jesus. And he smiled at me with this big smile. (laughs) And he told me, he said, you're starting to get it. Amazing. I was starting to get it. Wow. (laughs) So anyway, brothers and sisters, that's, that's what God gave me. And one of my sisters in Christ... And y'all, she is, um, like, even hearing myself say sister in Christ, like, I'm, I just told y'all about that dream, and, and she's my sister, yes, and, and she also has Christ in her. Oh, my goodness. So, let me go to uh, Revelation chapter 12. Because she sent this to me. Revelation chapter 12, verse 5. Where is it at? Okay. Now, I've been seeing the number 616 for y'all. Like, every single day. I don't know how many times a day. I'll bump right into it. But listen to this. It says, Revelation chapter 12, verse 5. She gave birth to a son who was, a, who was to rule all nations 
with an iron, I mean, with an iron rod. And her child was snatched up, I mean, was snatched away from the dragon and was caught up to God and to his throne. What in the world? (laughs) And remember, in the beginning, I was telling y'all where Jesus was saying, he had me go back to that and where he says um, God made human beings in his image. Oh my goodness. So God created human beings in his own, in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And he says to follow that commandment where he says, honor your father and mother. Your spiritual father and mother. Our father, who is also Jesus, who is also, he he is the word. He is the Holy Spirit. He is Y'all, I, I hope y'all, I hope some of y'all getting this. I really do. Oh my goodness. Jesus is the all in all. <laughs> oh, wow. Follow your spiritual father. Be led by your mother, Holy Spirit. So, y'all, that's all I have to say. That's all he wanted me to bring to y'all. Yep. And I think I'm going to end it. I think I'm going to end it with um, Daniel chapter 12. I mean, Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. Let me get that right here. It says... All right, 13 and 14. It says, as my vision continued that night, I saw someone like a son of man. Y'all know that's Jesus. Coming with the clouds of heaven. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm going to have to take y'all somewhere else again. He approached the ancient one and was led into his presence. He was given authority, honor, and sovereignty over all nations of the world so that the people of every race and nation and language would obey him. His rule is eternal. It will never end. His kingdom will never be destroyed I hope y'all got that too Uh, all right so let me say this part again verse 13 as my vision continued that night I saw someone like the son like like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven let me go to Revelation 1, y'all, and I'm, I think I'm going to leave it after that. I know I said that before, but I'm serious this time. Revelation chapter 1. And there won't be nothing else to be said except for y'all to go look it up yourself. All right. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7 says, Look, he comes with the clouds of heaven. And everyone will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the nations of the world will mourn for him. Yes. Amen. Brothers and sisters, even the ones he said that pierced him, they're back here in spirit. getting ready to get their judgment 
God saved everyone that should be, that should get his wrath. They are going to be there to get their wrath. They're going to be in his, they're going to get the wrath of God. He preserved them. So y'all, everything is in spirit. That's why Jesus said, worship him in spirit and truth. Now, I'm going to shut it down after that, y'all. I love y'all, brothers and sisters. Jesus is about to do some things. And I hope y'all ready for it. And I sure enough hope you know who you are. Because you do not want Satan to steal your birthright. So I love you all. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. Hopefully, I won't. Jesus won't send me back here again. But if he does, y'all, it's something he wants me to tell you. I love you all, brothers and sisters, and y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.